Hey guys, I uh, started beekeeping this year and I wanted to share with you my first uh, and second uh, cutouts and uh, lesson that I've learned and um, just want to share it with you because it was pretty cool and I kind of wanted to share my uh, beekeeping experience with y'all anyway. So um, this here wall, as you can tell, um, had comb all the way down from the top. Um, this colony I cut out um, second. Uh, this property had two hives on it and I cut this one out second. Uh, this colony ended up dying on me um, and the reason I believe was because when I was cutting the comb out I was placing it on a piece of plywood right over there. Uh, just I was just laying it down whole. Um, they were coming out in like I was taking them out in five foot sections, pretty much four foot, four foot sections, and I was just laying them out. Well, obviously, since um, there's another colony really close by, it started a robbing frenzy, and um, I eventually put this colony in a box right here, and um, they just didn't make it. That I, I believe that other colony just kind of robbed them. I didn't minimize the entrance to their box and and so um, they died on me which was a bummer because uh, they were I mean let me show you you see right here where it's dark that's mainly where it was brewed and then the rest of it was honey I mean and it, it this is what April and they had honey stores from last year it was just incredible so there's they were a good producing colony and I uh, messed up and uh, they ended up dying the brood that I collected ended up only being about two well, maybe three frames and um, so they weren't very big anyways but they were able to produce a lot of honey and uh, they just didn't make it so I'm gonna walk over to where the other colony is Well, where I cut the other colony. <clears throat> when I get close enough, you'll see that I've got actually two hives here. But one of them I just put here about three days, two or three days ago. And the only reason I'm back today is because I'm releasing the queen. We cut it out, my, my teacher, my mentor, and I cut her, cut this hive out out of, out of a little barn. And uh, I, got, I got the queen in a clip. And so I'm here today to uh, let her out. Anyways, I guess you can see it's kind of dark. But here they are. This one is the one I cut out first here on this property. They are an awesome colony. They are strong. Both of those boxes are pretty much full with um, brood. Uh, it's kind of early in the morning and it's kind of cool so there's not a whole lot of action but if you come out here in the middle of the day when it's hot they are just all over this box because uh, there's so many of them in there um, that's the one I'm coming to release the queen uh, they're kind of small but there you are mean so I'm already suited up and I'm, I'm gonna let you guys go here in a second so I can put my glove on but I'll tell you the story of this one real quick. So this is the first one I cut out. And I actually cut them out from this old planter. <clears throat> uh, the owner tried to sell this planter like four or five years ago. And the guy came to pick it up, got stung by bees and said, you can keep it. And uh, you can see here that their comb was from this section to that section. And it went all the way down. I cut them out. They had about five, maybe six 
frames of brood and uh, I checkered that brood with new comb or not new comb I'm sorry new plastic frames that I had uh, painted wax on onto and they drew those those plastic frames out in a matter in a matter of days um, literally like four or five days those 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 new uh, this is what it looked like look this is what I put in there and in a matter of four days front and back of these were there's I put eight new ones in there and they had drawn all, drawn them all out about 70 percent so it's a really hard working colony and I'm, I'm looking forward to a lot of honey from them uh, anyway so they came from here I cut them out first uh, I had video and all kinds of stuff of them and I ended up deleting it all like an idiot off my phone when I was trying to uh, edit it and whatnot so you guys don't get to witness any of that um, I didn't ever catch the queen at least I thought I didn't catch her um, because there's just a ton of holes in here so they were running all over the place um, but I did end up vacuuming her. I found her when I came back to check on them and check her, check her their, their brood frames and stuff. I found her and she's a, she's a big old fat queen. Um, but this hive did, that hive did overpower the other one that I cut out from down that road. It's probably about 70 yards away. So um, I'm here to release a queen out of this hive and uh, I'm gonna let y'all go because I'm gonna put my gloves on because these guys are these girls are uh, very defensive so they'll be all over me in a minute once I open up their, their box so alrighty well um, thanks for watching and uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions or of why you guys think maybe my other other little colony died um, let me know I just started this year my mentor he's been doing it for about six years he has about 30 hives I like I said I started this year but I already have about let's see there's two here two four I have six uh, colonies right now and uh, I, sh I should have seven but anyways uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye